Before we begin, I just want to mention that you can join the Skyrim Plux Discord server for any help or discussion. Welcome any of these runners and we'll be happy to help you get you started. Link in the description. Enjoy! Hello everyone and welcome to my guide for Skyrim Plux Venture on Clover Island any percent. Uh, in this guide, we'll be going through the game in a normal 100% run, but I'll be going slowly and talk about everything we do. Now the first thing we're going to immediately go over about is the key bindings. I've set up a software, as you can see, that shows all my key bindings here that I use. The reason I mention this is you can't use a controller for this if you want to go fast. If you want to be as optimal as possible and actually run at the full potential, you can't use a controller. I'm not the one to stop you from having fun and run the way you want, but uh, for this guide, you'll be using a keyboard. You can change it how much you want if you want to use a controller, but the main tricks for the movement, you can't do with a controller, sadly. Alright, the first thing you want to do is to turn off the dialogue. Because after resetting about 200 to 300 times, you will go mentally insane over Plex. This is uh, something that's just gonna happen and uh, it's mandatory. You have to turn down the voices. If you don't turn on the voices, um, you'll hear voices at night. You don't want that. Anyways, we're gonna go straight into this. Uh, let's delete a file here. Let's delete this. Just from 100%. This is not what we're going over. First thing you want to do, press double, press space immediately to skip the cutscene, and you go in. Immediately when you get control of the movement, you start a timer, and you get movement over Skylar, I mean. I'm not using a timer, because this is a guide, we can take it as slow as we want. Easy and slow, alright. Use WAC to move, obviously. Now, normally you just go here, like just go normally, but in Skyrim Plux, there's bunny hopping. You've probably heard that from like stuff like CSGO and all the club kind of shooters, but it's a bit differently here in the 3D platformer. And it's, in my personal opinion, what makes this a really good and interesting speed game. By jumping and the same frame as you landing pretty much. I'm not 100% sure if it's frame specific, but it's very close at least. Uh, you will keep your momentum without losing it. And by pressing A and D a lot, you'll build up momentum. I don't really know how to do it. It's muscle memory. You'll, you'll have to practice and get it. Just jump, press A and D, and boom. You see, I got lots of speed there and lost control. That's why I have these keys installed. So you can just look at my what I'm pressing. But basically, A, D, A, D, jump, 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 get speed, go. Alright, here we go. Right click. Simple stuff. Just gotta climb up here. A fast way you can do this is you build. Momentum from here And then you try to jump up here and right click to get the extra tight to get up And you just clamp as possible and jump Keep going Let's get as fast as possible Normally if you're fast you'll get here before the body even spawns and the elevator will stop for a second and go up So obviously we did not do that here because we're taking it so and easy Now what you want to do here is keep jumping and you want to jump to the last platform, interact with it, and when you interact with it, you'll get another jump for free. So even if I, yeah, I'll show this one, even if I double jump, interact with it, I get another jump. So we want to do this. And keep going. With the bunny hopping. Don't be upset if you don't get bunny hopping on your first try and don't understand it completely. It takes time to get good at. I've played this game for many, many hours. It's muscle memory. That's the whole thing about this game, pretty much, is muscle memory. You'll get it down with time. Let's bunny up over to this button, press it, and you can move in this cutscene. This is the only cutscene that it allows you to move in the game on your own, but there is a little trick we're gonna do later that um, will let us get movement in most cutscenes. Anyways, I didn't go over there because what we actually wanna do is jump before it gets there to get speed. Then we wanna jump over here and instantly ground pound. Break these two boxes, because we'll need him to get 300 later when we get to Loa. And usually it would go over here, but it's fast to just double jump, right click up here, and then just jump around here. Get these boxes, we need them, and then you're home free. Normally you use these swing nodes to get over, but if you're good enough and build a bunny hop speed, you can simply try- I actually failed. <laughs> Like this. And boom. 
the time, spam spacebar, skip cutscene, immediately press escape, use your arrow keys, because you can't use WSD to navigate this menu for some reason. You can navigate the other menus with WSD, but this you gotta use arrow keys. So instantly escape, one arrow key up, enter, skip cutscene. And then I'm ready to just bunny up through here. This place takes a bit of time to get used to bunny hop around. But you'll get it. Eventually. Just like don't be upset if just like you don't go faster. This is a really difficult area to consistently go fast at eventually. Even here, I usually slow down as well and I muck it up. There is a cutscene coming up with uh, this checkpoint near me where it shows the checkpoints to explain how it works. If you can build enough speed, you can actually skip it if you go the correct way. Alright, like this. You'll get past it and you can continue going. This is really good if you get it, because you'll just keep your momentum, you can keep going. Usually we don't get it, it's just instantly press escape, skip cutscene, keep going. You don't lose a lot of time. It's more like a bonus if you get it. I don't reset ever my runs over it, and neither should you, to be honest. I don't specifically try to go for it, it's the thing that just happens if you're lined up for it and you have enough speed. The stars need to align. Alright, so here's a swing node, a platform, and another swing node. What we can do here is we can just straight up go between the swing nodes. That platform, you never go on it. It's probably the least used platform in the run. Alright, we get here where we gotta kill these bots and free the elder. See, when unusual runs. You'll eventually go fast enough so the bots don't spawn. I've taken my timer to the spawn. So usually what you do is you get here, press escape, skip cutscene, immediately press escape again and load last save because that will force them to spawn. And that will actually be faster than waiting for them to spawn. And you just grab some of these crates. And kill the dogs. Be the elder. Simple as that. And now... We try to get it as fast as possible to end the roll tree. If you get some speed here, you can simply just jump here and get up in here. All right, world one. World one we skip the most. There's so many skips for this. Immediately load in, just escape, skip cutscene. We're not even gonna go this path. You only go this path in 100% because you need to click the lowest. We're not gonna click any lowest in this run. We're gonna jump up here. Easy spot, immediately when you come in. Then between the two fences, this like rock, some flowers on, you jump up here, jump to the right, use your right click if you don't get enough height, get up like this, like there, so you, let's try this again, alright, we're here, one time to the right, two times to the right, three times to the right, oh, almost, well, it's a bit difficult one, two times to the right, and then one time to the left, then we'll get up here, which is way later in the path. Thing with scanning blocks, there's a lot of surfaces they'll just let you stand on, and then there's a lot of surfaces they won't, like here, where you just like slide down. Actually, you can stand here, but the game is very indecisive where you can stand and not stand, like here. No, the game doesn't want you to stand here. But all the way up here, easy climb. And well, what we're gonna do now, we just jump over here and go to this piston. Here's a cool trick. What we're gonna do is that we're gonna use the momentum of this piston. Land over there in the, the tree and instantly get to the jetpack area. Like this. Boom. Usually you can use momentum to try and instantly get to the jetpack, but that's more high level. Usually you land here and you just go over the jetpack. Uh, you don't need to do anything particular. You, like, you don't have to jump in front of it. You can if you want to try to readjust it more, but you can just stand in front of it, get pushed, use your double jump to readjust and land here. You just go for it. Usually you jump over here, get the platforms, etc. At your own pace, of course. Once you get good enough, which uh, will take some time to get used to bunny hopping, you'll be able to build enough speed here, just instantly go for platforms. I failed there. Reasoning if I failed there is that sometimes uh, you may screw up the bunny hop in the case that um, you double jump instead of normally jump. Like you think you landed, but you haven't, and you just double jump instead. And then you don't have your double jump, obviously, and it doesn't work out. But let's try this one more time, hmm? Like this. You can get there. And you can just ignore the second platform because you can just jump straight to it. 
Grab the jetpack, escape, skip cutscene. Boom, done. All right, now we want to jump down here, and we want to jump on this little pole here. That's where I like to jump, and just jump up here instead of jetpacking up. This is kind of a whole tall place. Usually, you can jetpack up here, but if you time it right, you can easily also just double jump and right click up. And we want to go over here. It's not on this platform, but you kind of sink into it. It's okay. It's a bit hard to stand there, but it's easy. You want to rocket launch and right click up to this little edge. From here, you want to jump up to this arc. And as you can see, there's another arc above us. So you want to jetpack and then hold S or like outwards to get out here. Like that. And then you just want to right click yourself around and up. You can actually really easily control where you're going to go in the rocket launch. Like some getting used to, but you control what direction you want to go and right click to change it again. Easily get up. Now we're up here. See, what you're going to probably think you're going to do is that we're going to press the button instantly and instantly remove the lasers. But no, here's even crazy skips. I accidentally pressed it anyways. What we're going to do is that we're going to just bunny hop across here and get up there towards the mountain and basically end the level already. Uh, if you struggle with this, I usually recommend you clear out these crates for some spots. I don't usually do this, but hey, it takes just like a one or two seconds just to make it easier for you. What we're gonna do? We're gonna bun jump, and boom, get over fast. If you're even good enough, you can land on this platform right here, right? Just went up to. Whoops! But if you get good enough at this. You can uh, try and land on the secondary platform. You don't even need it. You can just go straight for this. But if you struggle with bunny hops, don't worry. This is actually this jump is actually completely possible without the bunny jumps. It's a bit harder, but this is what we do on console as well. What we're gonna do is we're gonna roll off the edge, rocket launch, right click, and then jump out of it. I haven't done this in a while, so this might take a couple of attempts, but let's do it. There we go. First try. Now we're here. We want to either rocket launch up here, but actually all these platforms, you can just double jump right and time your right click to get up. Needs to wait for this one specifically, just to go on the side here and get up. But if that's faster, that depends if you can do that faster than a rocket launch. That's up for you to decide. Here as well, usually you can do a rocket launch, but if you time a double jump or the right click, you get up. A easy way to do this is to go like Face middle and go slightly left. Left side of the rock, you almost immediately always get up. Right side, I find it a bit more difficult. You can see. Left side is the key. Same here. Left side. Although this one is a bit harder to fit to, like, or it's risky to do because you usually just slide off and fall all the way down. And your run is pretty much dead then. So if you're scared of not risking it, you can just rocket launch up. Or like, yeah, like this. You can just fall off anywhere. That's what I mean with this game. Alright. Now that we're getting up here. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna get up here. But we can't just get up here like this. That doesn't work that well. It's slippery and you can easily fall off. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna jump over here. And then jump up here. You can do it with right clicks. For this one, you're just gonna double jump. And you can right click through yourself. Carefully, you don't slip and fall. And you can just double jump, right click. You can also rocket launch if you want to be safe. Alright, here people do a little bit of different stuff, but I'm going to show you what I specifically do. You can go up like this. But even that, it's kind of hard to do mid one. Uh, I do this for no jetpack. But if I fail it, it's immediately slower. So what I do is I right, I just use rocket launch and get up here. There's a platform you can stand there that's invisible. That's the trend of this game. You can stand anywhere and nowhere at the same time. Just stand here and get up. Now, you'd think you try to get up there and just climb the mountain from there, but no, we can go even further. By going to the left, we can climb up here with a double jump right click or a rocket launch if you struggle with those. And this water here is actually completely safe to stand on, at least here at the waterfall part. The other part here is actual water, so don't fall in that. I'm going to go over here and up here. Through the little forest and towards the lake. There we can see the grapple node. I'm gonna just jump and grab that and get to this mushroom. Now we're pretty late in the stage, but we can escape even more. 
instead of going over there and the progress up the mountain, we're gonna climb up this little cliff. This, this is a really slippery part, so double jump, right click, and this one's a bit risky. You can stand here pretty safely, but a bit more to the right, you'll fall. And these are really hard to stand on slippery. You can stand in here somewhere, but honestly, you just need to stand here minimum. Because we're going to try and reach that node. So we need to know where it is, double jump, and interact with it, obviously. Alright, we're almost at the top. Now we're just going to follow this path and jump up this mushroom. An easy way to get to the top is these ruins here. Like these little weird rocks after this bone and this torch. Remember those. You can jump up all of them. They're really easy to climb. You can just jump up here and rocket launch on this mushroom. Or even, if you want to be fa try to be faster, double jump here, simple jump there, get the mushroom, etc. Now you just follow the mushrooms, jump on this torch. It can hurt you, but the hitbox is really small, so just go around it. Jump click, right click. Dump, I mean, did I say jump click? I mean, double jump. Right click and you'll break the pots and hit the mushroom. And then you can instantly just go like 180 around here. If that's a bit hard, you can just go to the other mushroom here. And boom, we're done. That's in a world one. Skip that cutscene. Skip this cutscene and go straight to the elder because the other world doesn't open before you talk to the elder. After you've done every world, you gotta talk to the elder. That's where I usually like to split. So here I would split world one. Skip cutscene. World two is open. Oh boy. Let's enter it. All right. World two is probably the most mechanically intense world. I'd say it requires a lot of bunny hopping for the first part. The second part is a bit easier, but it has some harder tricks you'll have to do. Uh, we're gonna do a trick called, well it's not a trick, it's just something we call Fast the Desert, where we will really quickly bunny hop towards the end of the desert to the time warp over there as you can see. Um, basically we're just gonna bunny hop as much as we can, and once we get to a certain point here, if we have enough speed, like here, once we get past this like rib cage. We can actually jump from the platform to the left and a bit more to the right there instead of going all the way to the right. This is a really difficult trick. I don't expect really anyone to get this early on. And you don't lose a lot of time from going around. And sometimes going around is even better because you'll get more speed. But yeah, I'll try to demonstrate how fast desert works. It's not the easiest thing. I somehow sometimes still mess it up, but... For now, I'm just going to stop talking and start showing. Alright, I kind of screwed up. I didn't get enough speed. But you can actually just stand here. It's a really safe spot all the way to the left here even. You just rock it up, get under this rock and jump up. There's actually a lot of safe spots for it. Alright, let's say I don't have much speed coming up here. It's a bit hard. What you can do is you can try and build speeds on these two platforms. And you can go here, land on this, recharge your jetpack and get speed again. That's a nice, really nice safe spot the fall here. Let's do that again, shall we? Again, land here. Jump off here with your speed. And land here. Alright, so let's say... You try to do fast desert, right? You get up here. And you manage to land here. And oh no, you lost all your speed. And you fail to... You don't think you're able to build enough speed to get over there with this little platform area that's really wanky. Or... Really wonky. Whatever you want to say. Well, there is a place you can reach. Go by the edge here. Just do normal jetpacking. You can try and reach this place. It's not the easiest thing in the world. So you're gonna have to build a little bit of speed. But it should be possible by most. 
Just go like this. There we go. Reach down here, and from here you can just jetpack and get up. This is probably the slowest way to do this area, but if you have a good run going and you mess this up, you can still try and save it. Alright, so now we're gonna go the safest path. Just try to go as fast as possible you can with bunny hopping. And then we will just go to the right here instead. You can use the momentum from the swing node and try to carry, help you carry it through. And it will go really fast here. Sometimes, usually, so fast you don't even see enemies spawn. And there you go. It wasn't the most optimal bunny hopping, but... That's probably the fastest technique of getting through this here, to this part. This is where we get the time orb. Uh, there's a little funny thing you can do here, where a cutscene will start. What we're gonna do is that when the cutscene starts, I'm gonna alt tab, quickly out and quickly in again, and gain control over the cutscene, or like gain movement in the cutscene. I'm gonna do that to move over here, and then at one point in the cutscene, when the orb disappears from the pillar here. I'm going to press escape and press load last save. That forces the cutscene to end, giving me the orb, and I will still spawn where I stood last. And I can just instantly get over. I'll try to do it now in action, but it happens very fast, so try and pay attention, okay? And just like that, we skip the cutscene, got the orb, and we're done here. The pillar will come up again because the orb is activated still. What you can do is you can try to double jump, get over here. You can even stand here. There's a lot of safe spots. Obviously not there, but uh, you can easily get over. Uh, this takes a bit of practice, but it's not that hard really. We will be using the cutscene movement mostly in World 2 and a little bit in World 3, but it's mostly for small stuff, so don't worry about it. It's definitely not necessary to do extremely well but there's one crucial part in world 2 where a really hard trick where we'll use it now and a bit later i'll talk about it then now we got the timer but we want to do is so you want to jump down here take the swing node jump off the swing node use the momentum we get from it to get all the way over here now just want to get over here i tried to jump on this torch to get up here it's not an easy thing to do. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised I managed to do it there. If not, just go normally. You can just go up here. Just like this. Climb up. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to completely ignore the first part of the temple. Oh. And just climb over it. This is all mostly climbable. Well, that's what we're going to do. This is a weird rock. You can either try to rock and launch yourself up. Not going to work that well. But uh, this is a place you can stand here. I just double jump, right click, and get up. I try to bunny, get up speed from bunny jumping and get up over there. If you don't, you can just make it from here or do something like this. That's a bit slower. So bunny jumping is the most optimal way. Now, we're going to have to enter the temple from here again because the tree has to spawn because it hasn't grown in there for the second course. So we're going to have to enter from the exit and do the puzzle. There's sadly no way to avoid this puzzle, but it's... Uh, it's required, I'm afraid. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna do the puzzles. And when I press this button to activate the cutscene, I'm gonna alt tab, gain control, and try to climb up the tree while the cutscene is going. The first one is really easy to do it on, the second is a bit tough, and the third one is nearly impossible. I haven't done it. I've done it twice. And I rarely do the runs. I try for it sometimes, but really it isn't necessary. I'm gonna try it once to show you guys how difficult it can be and it will most likely succeed. I might not even be able to do the second one. But there's a trick. You can actually use a time warp to slow down the cutscene to see better before it quits. It's a bit weird but uh, I'll show you guys. If I press the I alt tap now I'm gonna have to spam WASD because my controls get a bit camera locked and weird. So spam WASD and you'll gain proper control. And if it press use a time warp now you see the cutscene is actually slowed down. So, use that to your advantage. Currently, I need to wait for the tree. I can see it, so I can just slow down here. And jump up here quite easily. And like this. Usually I don't need to use the time warp here. 
but if you're slugging with it, I highly recommend it, as it's still faster than just waiting out the cutscene and then moving. Alright, let's do the second puzzle. Puzzles are easy, I don't think I need to talk about them. Uh, you'll see how I do them, just learn them, try them, and memorize them. It's as simple as that, really. Wait, the second one is more difficult because it has a mushroom in it. So I all tabbed. Let's see if I can get up here. See, sometimes, like, even, no matter what key I press, I can press D, S, and W, and I also always keep going, like, to the left. Spam W, S, D, and you'll gain full control again. So you can't see anything here. But here I can. I'm just gonna go for it. I actually got it. Never mind, I failed. Oh, I fell in the water. Oh, no. And sometimes when you fall in the water, you can get stuck here, and that sucks. But the only way to get out is to jetpack and then right click to get up. If not, you'll keep taking damage and die, and maybe soft lock or volume one might die. Still, sometimes I continue my run and falling and it works out. We're gonna get up here. And what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna build on this like little platform. I'm gonna build uh, bunny up speed to get over here instantly. If not, you can just bunny up on this arc. It's not until recently I started skipping this whole part and just going straight for the pillar. See, now I don't have that much speed. But I'll still make it, because you can stand here. Now let's do the puzzle. Punch this one. Punch the right one. Bring it to the bottom left corner. Or it's bottom right, I guess. And then get this one over here. Put it right next to it. Punch it on top of the pillar. And when Plux is almost there, well, you're actually almost there. You just gotta take this one out and bring it around. And boom. You can just finish it. But before I do that, I'm going to explain some stuff here. When I do this, the path after this beam here will disappear and it will become a mountain and you have to go like, there are going to be platforms you have to go around. But what I'm going to do is that I'm going to bunny, well, after, right after I hit it, I'm going to bunny hop, get enough speed on this platform before it disappears and get over here. This will take some time to learn. So what I actually recommend if you want to try learning this is that you punch it all the way up here so you have a bit more space to start learning it before you punch it down. So I'm just gonna do it right now to show you guys. You have a little bit of time, but it's barely anything. Alright, let's get back there. And let's reset this. I have to redo the puzzle, but uh... Oh well. If this is too hard for you, and you don't think you can do this right now, I completely understand. There is another way you can do it instead of going around there. You can actually jump over here, and this is like completely stand for it. It's really weird. It's glitchy. Don't ask. It works. It ends around here. It's starts going down. You can jump, double jump, go around here, and right click here, and you can completely stand at this little sp spot here. Don't, like, after you land there, don't move. Like I did. I just wanted to show how far it can go. Not move, just stand here still. Then you want to double jump again and go around here and you get there. I'm not. I'm 1 HP now, so I'm not going to attempt the last three climb. But just looking at this cutscene, you can probably judge that it's really difficult. I have like a two second, a half, one and a half second zoomed out shot. Fall from there, you can try and go for it while slowing it down. Or a really janky shot of it, camera, going up with him. Anyways, you've completed the puzzle now. Go out. And immediately when you go out here, there's going to be a back screen that starts the cutscene. So when immediately when the screen turns back, you can just immediately pause and skip it. Now I'm going to double jump, right click to get up here. And here. You can ignore these platforms, it really uses. Let's double jump, right click here, and now we can climb the tree and finish the stage. Ta-da! We're all two done. All we need to do now is speak to the Elder and finish the uh, third world before we can end the game. Just wall jump over there, or if you're struggling with uh, bunny hopping, you can get up here as well with a rocket launch. But usually you want to get used to bunny hopping, just jump around fast. 
Binge it, open world tree. All right, world tree is interesting. Uh, you will need most of your health here. I don't think you can have, you need to have at least two and then don't screw anything up. So we're gonna go in, since I want HP. I'm just gonna go in, skip the cutscene, and kill myself. Nope, there we go. Oh no. There's some interesting skips we're gonna do here. Some of you guys might remember, coming up, there's gonna be a Wrecking Ball pun. Well, fear not, we found a way to skip this thanks to the holy Joshmish. We found a beautiful skip. What we're gonna do is that we're gonna clip through the, the like the dirt here or whatever and clip right into this. Let's just go down. The re how we're gonna do that, you ask? Well, the fastest way I like to do this is I simply summon this this like pipe, I roll off and keep holding shift. Like this. Boom, it will spawn, un spawn under it. Careful, there's a lot of death boxes here. But anyways, between these two like boulder, rocks, mountains, whatever, you just want to go through and fall down. As simple as that. Now, can I get up without killing myself? No, I can't. Let's just load that save then. I don't want to die. Um, if this is too difficult for you, just rolling down. There is an easier or older version of doing this that may help. You can get into that weird state by just standing here, holding the rocket launch and get hit. Now you'll gain movement. You need to quickly fall down. Like, walk down while holding shift to get down here. If not, you'll take extra damage. I hit a death wall there, but... Yeah, a lot of, like, damage walls here. That's why you need most of your health, because you will take damage. Get down here and just... Start it. You'll get the hook. Hit the cutscene, get the ball, put in the thing, and then we can also just do a quick alt tab here to just start moving while this is going. Just a small time save, you know. Not necessary, but it's the fastest way. Now, this is probably the hardest trick in the run. The wrecking hammer skip. Recently found by me and improved on by Klagarn. Um, we're gonna get up here and then rocket jump out of here. There is another uh, method that's way easier, but it's a bit slower. But I'm going to show this first now. So what you want to do is you want to jump on a hammer and get up. It's going to rock you away. So the easiest way to do this that Clogon found is that when you stand in front of it, when it's coming towards you, you don't want to jump to it, but you want to jump out and land on top of it. Then you want to land here, and you can't stand there for long. It's going to start glitching you out. So you want to land on top of it. Hold on. I'm just gonna spin. You need to want to land on top of it, rocket launch, and try to get up there. This one definitely takes time to learn, but it's possible. There you go. And you will now be up here, and if go out, you have to go over here to this like area where this enemy room is. There's always gonna be your lag spike around here. There's nothing you can really do about it. Now there is another way of doing this. You can skip the room and go straight over here. Try to ignore the enemy's invisibility. And not get sniped like I did. That will happen. You're gonna lose a run that way. Alright, we're here. Just jump across the enemy. Sometimes use the time orb to help it. Boom. You wanna stand here. And then you wanna jump on top of this. Double jump, right click, and get on top of that. This is a hard one. I hate doing this. So I'm glad we found the wrecking hammer skip or whatever. We wanna get up here. And then you can either jump on the camera. And jump up here and get over, or a slightly faster way if you're good with bunny hopping, is to just simply bunny hop over. All right. Well, if you can't, if you struggle with doing both these things, there is something you can do as a last resort. Or I mean, if you, yeah, well, you can jump up here, and if you fail doing this or just simply struggle with this, there's another thing you can do. You can go around here and out. Double jump, activate this thing, and open the door platform. We can also go around, but it's a little bit slower. Then you can go to this lower. You go on top of it, and you want to rocket roll off. Rocket boost, and then right click jump, like this. Easy. That's the easiest way of doing it. And it's not that slow, but it's the slowest of the bunch. But anyways, you want to get up here anyways, regardless. 
This is a bit slippery. The lag spark is going to be around there as well. You can stand here. This will slide you off though. Now what you're going to do is you're going to jump around here and land this like iron wall structure thingy. And then just double jump, rock the cup or rocket launch if you fail like I do. Now we're just going to jump through the level for a little bit. Pass these lasers. Pro tip if you are low on health. For this area, there's a lot of crystals just laying around. You can just, while jumping around, hold shift with the magnet and they will actually get picked up and you'll slowly restore health. Now, I just want to quickly do the laser uh, puzzle. It has to be done. Just memorize it and try to be fast about it. It's really that simple. Bob's your uncle! Yeah, I remember all the lights. Lasers can't hurt you. Well, you can just ignore them. Just memorize the bustle and boom, we're, we're pretty much done now. So when we get up here, I'm going to jump off the platform. This cutscene will start. I'll run towards the door as fast as I can before it opens. I'll tab when the cutscene starts and just instantly get in. You'll see. It started. All tab. Gain control. Go in. Alright. Now we're halfway through World Tree. Great. This is probably the most fun and the easiest part. Maybe not fun, but it's the easiest part of World Tree for sure. We're just gonna go to the side here. And the thing with these wind turbines is that they give you infinite jumps as long as you're in them. So I can just span jump. So what you can do is you can just go up and keep jumping and land here. And from here you can just go around and, well, go towards the exit. But if you're good at bunny hopping, what else you can do is you can go like this, get speed, boom, instantly get over, land here, keep jumping, skip the entire room, press the button, boom, you're here. And now we just kill him. I missed some actually, I missed a lot. Damn, I was not paying attention. <laughs> Alright, now we go up. Just continue. We're pretty much close to the end now. Well, that's nice. You can also use this grappling hook and use the speed from it to also do this room pretty fast. I did kind of mess it up, but that was still pretty fast regardless. Escape, skip cutscene. Oh, let's go up here. You can bunny hop here, get speed, and just instantly get over. If you don't make it, you can land there and just rocket launch up. Pretty easily. Alright, this is the worst room. It's hard to do fast, but basically kill everything. I did not mean to right click that either, but uh, kind of worked out. Here, I did mean to right click though. Alright, get those small ones. I'm gonna get these. Alright, nice. Now I can bunch it. I'm gonna all tap and jump towards the door. That's not a super easy thing, especially if you're on an island. You don't want to fall into the lava, so I just always double jump towards the door. Okay, now we're going to initiate the, j j the chase sequence soon. But to get there, you first need to bring this ball. So just put a bunny hop with it. And you can actually, if you don't have enough speed, you can just punch it over when it starts it. Now, while the floor, we're going to go a separate path here. It's going to take some time to explain. Because time is short, obviously. We're gonna go into really close to the generator, go left of it, and go up a path and climb from there. So, we're gonna go up here. There's actually a path you can go here immediately to the left. Don't confuse it with this one, because that's not gonna work. The one immediately to the left, you're gonna double jump, right click, sometimes have the rock launch, get up there. Camera is gonna be finicky as well. But, yeah. It's a bit slippery. We're gonna just keep climbing. And boom, we skipped a little bit. Now, I'm just gonna go for it for a little bit. Until we get to some wind turbines. There they are. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna do some momentum to grab the last scrapping node there. To do that, we're gonna ground pound and make sure you land under the turbines. If not, you're not gonna get enough momentum height. Make sure to double jump after you get the height of it. Because that's how you get the height. Get up. At the peak. Double jump. F. And boom. We're here. 
Now, something you can do in this cutscene is that you can alt tab and try to kill as many enemies you can while the cutscene is going on. But depending on where you end up after doing that and how many you kill, sometimes it won't really save time. So I'm not going to do it this time. But this is something you can experiment on. We're not sure if it really saves time or not. But uh, be able to try it on your own. And be careful you don't die. Usually you kill enough enemies to get enough health. You don't die. And I really ever, never died here doing this. But I know some people have. What we're going to do now is just going to kill them. All of them. And immediately after we heard the like, jingle that all of them are dead, we're going to punch the Wrecking Ball towards the end. Like so. Skip the cutscene. It's going to fall in. Oh, I kind of screwed it up, but... Theoretically, it should fall instantly in. So we can just skip two cuts in a row and then grab it. Skip that cutscene. Boom. World tree is completed. Skip that cutscene. Talk to the Elder. And then it's boss time. Boom. Skip the cutscene. That one is like, it's cutscene. You can't skip the escape. You gotta use the space bar for that. And boom. We just jump in. Alright. There's quite a bit of cutscenes to skip. Instantly. Gonna be one. Skip. Just go. And just go. Similar to the temple, uh, when we go through here, the screen's gonna turn black, and that means there's a cutscene starting, you can just instantly skip it. Usually you just jump up there and jump up there to uh, start the fight. What we're gonna do is that we're gonna rocket launch and reach the edge of the platform for right click after the rocket launch just as initially just started and then we'll put us on top. Uh, we're also gonna do a trick where we kill the try to kill the boss in one cycle using this low dime warp. It's really hard to do because you gotta spam everything uh, like like this while holding like yeah like this. It's not always working and sometimes can even be bugged but I'll try to show up my best capability, I, I might not get it, and it requires a lot of practice. But anyways, let's start the fight by going up. I even failed that. Going up, right click, start the fight, skip cutscene, we're here. Now, just jump around avoid his attacks until he does his rockets. I like to bunny up around for fun, sometimes I get hit, but really, it doesn't matter. Okay, his rocket, hit him. Activate the time warp, get over to him, and go. Spam! Spam shift, spacebar, left click, and right click. This is not going to be enough, I don't think. Alright, so it was enough, but sometimes it bugs, and you have to hit him one more. So I kind of did it, but I didn't do it. That means I just got hit him with a rocket, and we're done. The sex practice, B and H has a pretty good uh, guide on it. I'm going to link in the description. But yeah, let's end, and boom, that's it. Time is when the screen turns black. And we're done.